hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing great today in today's video i come with you with another handbag review which is this stunning piece right here my chanel 19 metallic gold lambskin i've had this for a year now and i thought it would be a good time to do a little review for you to give you a feedback and what i have found so far because obviously these bags can be a little pricey and i want to make sure you are aware of the pros and cons before investing of course even though uh, there are so many different colors for this piece i opted for the gold metallic because for me it can be used as an accent color for any wardrobe i actually love to pair this with black for stunning contrast and it can be easily be paired with cream which i really love uh, green burgundy or even purple so this hue filled the gap i had in my handbag collection i needed something that will uh, stand out with plain simple outfits like the one i'm wearing right now so it is absolutely serving its purpose it's hard to you know overstate the power of great metallic accessories also chanel 19 is an everyday bag but because of this color in particular it can be used or transitioned easily day to night this is such a beautiful bag i love the material which is lambskin it's very very light pillowy soft and versatile it features an uh, aged gold chain derail cc turn lock on the flap a magnetic snap uh, pocket at the rear and leather aged gold ruthenium and dark silver uh, chain link the shoulder strap is with leather shoulder pad the front flap opens to a let's remove the organizer so you can see what the inside looks like it opens to a gold fabric interior with a zipper pocket right here i love that it has a top handle and your pro max phone can fit in here so i won't share what's in my bag because i've done a separate video in the past but i will definitely give you a quick overview whether or not i recommend this bag which will be at the end of the video the pros and cons some mud shots so yeah i want to show you different ways to wear it this is a versatile bag like i mentioned earlier you can either just have it on the crook of your arm like this which i definitely love it just makes it easy to grab you can also wear it as a crossbody as you can see and then you can wear it as a long shoulder bag as well note by the way that the strap is not removable nor adjustable i'm five four feet for your reference The Chanel 19 is going to become slouchy over time. So it's just, you know, the nature of the bag. But if you want to keep the structure of this piece, I recommend an organizer. This will help you keep the bag clean, hold the structure, and keep your essentials organized. This is from Zumoni, and I've mentioned about this on what fits in my bag video. The link is somewhere up uh, here if you are interested and there are tons of different colors for these organizers to choose from i got one in the color uh, brown i don't know i can't remember what uh, shade of brown this is but this will definitely protect the interior of the bag from dirts and stains 
Now, I want to go over the pros and cons of this bag because I'm sure you'd like to know the things I love and I don't love about the Chanel 19. One of the pros is the top handle. I am a top handle person. I couldn't stand carrying a bag on my shoulder all the time. It's nice to just wear it on the crook of your arm when you're wearing a dress or a skirt for a feminine or formal look or handheld for a casual look. This is such a versatile piece and I love that it can be worn in different ways. I also love the back pocket. I do prefer bags with uh, back pockets because it can be somewhat useful for small flat items like uh, maybe a passport, coin purse, earphones, receipts, face masks, and phones. It makes a lot easier for me to use the back pocket than keeping this thing somewhere that would make me open the bag from time to time. Also, it can fit a lot. With this, I have everything I could need, sunglasses, makeup, or makeup kit. It can fit a full-size wallet, as well as all my daily essentials. Now for the cons, I wish the strap is removable or adjustable so that uh, when you carry it this way, it would look nicer. Because sometimes this one is tends to twist. The, the chain strap and one more thing is the two-tone hardware i know that chanel made this bag look unique and trendy by using two-tone chain uh which is the antique go yellow gold and the ruthenium hardware but it's, it has also this gunmetal color <laughs> so it's like three uh shades but anyway I prefer one color only and I think pure gold or yellow gold would be better in my opinion. I've been very careful with this bag. It's hard to see scratches on the surface, if any, because of the color. It's metallic gold so scratches tend to like uh, blend, if you know what I mean. I'm careful in choosing what type of clothes I wear as well. I'm trying to avoid lots of embellishments that could scratch it. And it has held up pretty well for the amount of time I bought it out. The chain, because it's antique gold and ruthenium, you can't really see any wear and tear. Just with the leather strap up here, not too many scratches as you can see. I really love this bag. You can dress it up or it has been dressed up already because it's metallic gold. So soft and unique. Would I recommend this bag? Well, it depends. I wouldn't recommend it as your first bag ever from Chanel. I would say pick the classic flop. That is more classic, structured, and it gives you more of a classy look. Go with the caviar leather for durability as well. But if you don't like the look of the classic flop, this is a great option. And I have no regrets buying this one and include it in my collection. So there you go, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope this video is helpful to you. And if you have questions, suggestions on what video should I do next, please comment in the uh, comment section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you on my next one. Bye.